What is up guys, today I'm going to show you how to pot tweak a Xbox 360 DVD drive and this is for any of you guys that have a 360 that doesn't read discs or has trouble reading the disc then instead of replacing the DVD drive or replacing the laser inside the drive you could try this method as well as cleaning the laser with isopropyl alcohol um, but I'm going to show you how to pot tweak this drive uh, what I'm using is a light on 16D2S and this will also work with a BenQ drive a Hitachi a Samsung drive as well pretty much the same method um, so I've already taken out the screws on this drive here there's like four screws here on each either side this will void your warranty but it doesn't matter because the 360 is now discontinued so what we do is pop the back off and then the top pop it open leave that to the side now what you do need is a multimeter and like a very small flathead screw I'm going to grab your multimeter set this to 20,000 ohms or 20k ohms the reading should just come up as one so you want to get your two little prongs here on the multimeter and you see the two little kind of like screw heads here and the left side is your DVD game player game reader side and then the right is the CD but we want to focus on the DVD so you get your two prongs and then there are two like little soldering joints on the left side you kind of want to just touch them it's quite hard to get the exact pinpoint but once you do you should get a reading between seven and maybe three I'm getting a reading of 3.62 so originally um, when I first opened this I was getting a reading above five and I reduced the, the pop tweak to like just under three so if you first open it up and you're getting readings of six and seven you you want to reduce the the value to around four or four point five if you're getting a reading between like four then you want to go around three three point five you don't want to go any lower um, than three a value of three um, because that will burn the laser So I could tweak this down very slightly to maybe 3.5. Right, so we're going to adjust the laser now. So you just, I'm using a flathead screwdriver here, a very small one. Um, you can use like a razor blade, that will also work. We just want to turn this anti-clockwise, just like a millimeter. That's all we need to do. Go back and read the value. It's gone down to 2, 2.5. So we need to adjust it back up very slightly. I went too far. Now we're at 3.29, which I can test this to see if it reads games. I mean, it was struggling really hard to read any game at first until I adjusted it to 3.7, 3.6. Now I'm dropping it down again because it does have some slight problems. It's not perfect. Um, so 3.29, 3.3, I think I can leave it at, at that. If your first read is free, then um, your laser is pretty much dead and you can't really get anything out of it. Um, you won't be able to go up 
um, so you're better off replacing the laser however it's hard it's quite hard to find replaceable lasers that are new most of them or pretty much all of them are second hand or refurbished your best bet is probably to get a refurbished one just because it's the lifespan of the laser is probably um, a bit longer so hopefully this should solve most of your problems we are going to test it out so yeah that is how you um, pot tweak a 360 drive like I said before you don't want to go anywhere below 3 3.5 is probably the best um, value to go for also if you want to clean the laser you can do with some isopropyl alcohol and a q-tip all right so I'm just testing out the drive now it seems like it's reading discs fine it is a bit noisy I think that's because of the plastic the little plastic spinner at the top there I'll put in the uh, red dead as you can see just have no issues reading the discs so. so just a quick little fix for you guys if uh, you have problems with your DVD, Xbox 360 DVD drive the pot tweak helps so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again in another tutorial